So in verse 16, it says, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Now I have to stop right there because, you know, you figure, okay, the disciples, they come, they see Jesus, they worship, they receive their call, and you think, yay, everything's great. How often do you hear that little phrase there, but some doubted? They, they doubted? What, who doubted? I mean, this is Jesus. They've already seen him multiple times before this point. What, what do you mean they're doubting? And so I, th I think we've got to do something with that. So let's look at it. Who's doubting? What exactly is it that they were doubting? <clears throat> I think what's going on here is that we have more than just the 11. Right? It says that the 11 go, right? Jesus had told them before, go, go to Galilee. And apparently he already told them exactly where. And so they go to meet him there. But chances are it wasn't just them. But most scholars will actually say that this is probably what Paul was referring to in 1 Corinthians 15, whenever he says that Jesus appeared to the apostles and then to 500 at one time. A lot of people say that this is it, that this is what it's referring to, because chances are he's in Galilee where he spent most of his ministry, and word probably got out that they were going to meet Jesus, and so a crowd came. So, so what we have here are disciples. We have followers of Christ, or at least people who came and followed the teaching of Christ. And so they hear, Jesus is risen, Jesus is coming, and they come out, and Jesus appears. And most of them worship him, but it says some doubted. Which you figure, um, I mean, possibly, I don't know, you're back towards the back of the crowd, and you're like, hey, they say that's Jesus. Eh, I don't know. I mean, Jesus, wasn't he crucified? So, they, so they're doubting. However... What we then see happen is that their doubts, though they had them initially, Jesus puts them to rest by drawing near to them. And that's a theme that we see over and over again, that Christ draws near to those who are doubting but earnestly seeking truth. 